What's up guys, this is NoName4505 here for an episode of Glitch Yellow, but um, before we start that, here is the hex table that I use, it's on Bulbapedia, I'll leave the link in the description and it's up at the top for you guys so you can see it. And yeah, basically, um, this has the hex values of all the pokes in Gen 1, all 255 of them. Now the the one on the number on the left, excuse me, is the hex value that the game reads, and then the one on the right is the decimal value, which we see, and that decimal value happens to be exactly the same as the special stat for whenever we try to copy a poke. So, if you want to glitch the game by yourself, just um, hey guys, it's n oh, I already did that. Um, okay, here we are. So yeah, we're back to um doing this, and here we are. And part four of Glitch Yellow, because this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing for a little bit, because I do have battles saved up, so I'm going to upload and narrate those, but, um, right now I'm just doing some yellow, because that's what's interesting me right now. Plus, I've been getting a lot of views in those in a really short amount of time, so I think this stuff is interesting to you guys, too. Anyways, here we go. So, here's our party today. Um, we've got Thump Up the Needle King, Amarillo the Pikachu, and then we still have Aerodactyl, but the new member is Magneto the Magneton, who's going to be replacing Charizard, and if you saw the, um, actually I don't remember if I explained stuff about the Hux table about, yeah I did explain stuff about it, but I don't remember if I specified that, um, I was going to be using number 192, but anyways, um, this Magneton has a special stat of 192, that's important because that's the Pokemon that we're going to be glitching today, which is HH4Y, I believe. I'm not. No, I do not want to. S Derp Taylor. Derp. Okay, so we're just going to do. Um. Stainer glitch. You know what we do. Now I'm going to go over to Celadon City because I have a ton of trainers on the cycling road. That I can battle, so I'm just gonna be walking to the cycling road. Get out of my way, little girl. Okay, this dude I already battled in a separate glitch, so we're gonna go talk to this dude here. Yep. And again, just to make sure that um he walks up to you. Huh? Is that like a cup or? I'm not, I'm not even gonna go into it, man. That is the worst, that is officially the world's worst sprite in the world. Okay. Besides the point, I can just, um, smash things with Nido King. Because that's what we do when we're king. We can thump thump all the Nido Queens we want. And apparently we're a little rat. That's fun. Okay. Cinnabar Island. You know what we do. I also I got a ton of Max Repels now because I'm stacked with that cash because I multiplied all my nuggets. So I sold them all for that cold hard cash. So yeah, look, look at all that cash. Getting paid. Oh, okay, so I'm just gonna go. Who wouldn't press the secret switch? I don't know. And then we're not getting that item because it's just a Carbos. Now we gotta sit here and walk around waiting for the repel to go off, so I'll just BRB and when Ditto pops up then I'll let you guys know and because I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're back. Uh, I always find this really funny that whenever I'm recording something, Ditto pops up within the first two seconds. But whenever I'm just trying to glitch something, like I'm just trying to go get a missing no because I'm running a little low on a certain item, so I need to multiply it because, yeah, it's an item that you generally can't buy. It takes at least an hour for me to find a Ditto. That's an exaggeration, obviously, but, um, that, that's just what I'm trying to say. So anyways, now we're going to switch to Magneto here. 
And now we're going to transform, and I'm too lazy to switch, so I'm just going to stay in. Go for it to Thundershock. Oh no, you swift. Oh no, you outsped me on the speed tie. I can just keep going for Thundershock here. So now we smashed Ditto. And now, where are my escape ropes? There we go. I'm going to go buy some more of those, too. Okay. So now we're going to go up here. This little thing's going to pop up. And now here we are, 44HY. As you can tell here, this is pink. It kind of looks like there's a little Slowbro here. That's because 44HY is a hybrid of Slowbro or Slowpoke. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure it's Slowbro, though. So anyways, because we have all of these Master Balls, we're just going to go catch this thing with a Master Ball. And now we caught 44HY. And now here's the new Pokédex data. And there's no data on it, but yeah, number 80. I'm not sure if that's Slowpoke or Slowbro. Um, but it's a hybrid of one of those. Do you want to give a nickname to it for B4I? Okay, why well, are you changing names on us? Okay. So, we caught 44HY here. Um, in battle, well, actually, It's Cry is the Vermilion City theme. That's pretty cool, first of all. And you look at its stats. They're very similar, if not identical, to either Slowpoke or Slowbro, because you can see it's got nice defense, really nice defense, pretty decent special, and an average attack with a low speed. And its moves, Confusion Disable Headbutt, something that you would easily find on a Slowpoke or a Slowbro. So, um, we're going to do some... Interesting things about it. Also, when you close it, the Vermilion City theme keeps playing. That's pretty cool. If you, that annoys you, you just have to go up to a new route or something, and that'll go away. So, um, what was I doing? I, I had my train of thought going, but I kind of lost it. Oh, yeah. Um, what you want to do is, um... Or you don't have to do this, but this is what I recommend you do. First of all, I'm going to go change the box to box 7. And we're going to deposit 40, 44HY in there. Because um, 44HY evolves. So um, its evolution is the famous Q. Not really famous, but I talked about it in my last episode. So it should be famous. So, um, yeah, what you want to do is you want to have 144HY just to kind of keep in your glitch Pokemon collection because 44HY is a pretty cool poke. And then you want to have another one that you're going to evolve into Q because Q is really what we're going to be working with here. So, um, yeah, keep that in mind. And I'm, hold on, let me see what time we're at. S eight minutes. Okay. I'll be RB once I go get another one. And then, um, we'll do some stuff. Okay, so I'll just BRB. Okay, so we're back here. Um, we just did the Ditto Glitch and everything like that. Um, and now we're just gonna go up here, and there's another 44HY. And now we can just throw a Master Ball at it. give this thing a nickname. So now we're going to get to the second part of the episode right here, which is all about Q. So noise. here is 44HY. I'm going to save right here in case Q decides to do anything suspicious because Q is probably the only dangerous glitch Pokemon. I mean, most of them really won't do anything to your game or anything, except for Q. And it's not so much Q itself, but things that Q can do. Charizard M also does stuff, but I think Q is the yellow's equivalent of Charizard M. 
So anyways, we're just gonna go down here, get a rare candy, and here is key. Yeah, that's no, it's HH4Y. Okay. And now it learns TMO5. And now I love how a lot of glitch Pokemon do this too, how it's just one box and then it just evolves into a different box. Also something that I noticed if you didn't see that back there is how um, 44HY kind of has the front part of Slowbro's body, like most of Slowbro's body in its sprit, and then Q kind of has the back half of it, like the tail. That's just something that I noticed in there if you didn't notice that. So anyways, here's our party for pokes, except we have this thing. And here's Q. What's its cry? It's uber quiet, but it does have one. I think it's like... The Cerulean City. I think it's some um, the Pokey Flute cry. So anyways, it's still water psychic. Um, Q does get the name of TM55. That's completely normal. Moves, it has all the moves except for TM05, that's a glitch move, but that's fine, and you see here its name is Q, and Q's invisible, and that's one of the interesting things about Q, is that it's invisible, and um, because Q's invisible, it does a lot of interesting things, which is why you need to have it have its own separate box, because Q will do a lot of interesting things to your game. So, um, we're gonna go just test Q out in battle, I guess. Actually, I'm just gonna show you something else. Stats switch. Let's trade it with Amarillo. Q makes everything beneath it invisible, and then these two things are, um, kind of changed up, so now we're just going to go stat switch, and now everybody's all happy and healthy, because key's back where it belongs, okay, so that's fine, so um, I guess we can use Q in battle, just to see what it does. Stats. Switch thumb pump. No, I don't have Charmeleon with me, so ugh. Can Paterize fly or Terrorize? Yeah, let's go to Palatown. And also something that you should notice is that um, since the game doesn't recognize that I have Pikachu with me, uh, Pikachu's not following me just for some information. So there's Q, there's TM05. It's actually a pretty powerful move. It's pretty powerful. And now it grew to level 7, so yeah, it back levels. As do all glitch Pokemon. In yellow, at least. And now we're just gonna... Why does this thing know... Oh, that's right, that's because it's my Nido King. So now everything's gonna be all back to normal except for Magneto's M. Now it's back to normal. So let's see what time we're at. If I have time to do another glitch. Yeah, I have time to do another glitch. And this glitch is also going to involve Q. I'm going to go back up to Cerulean City because that's where we do everything. And this is called the uh, Merging Hybrid Glitch. If you guys are on Bulbapedia looking this stuff up. And, um... I'll be back in a moment, just because I want to make sure that I'm doing this glitch right, because stuff can happen. You know, it's not dangerous, like it's going to crash your sapphire, but, um, like I said, stuff could happen, so I'm just going to BRB, look it up really quick, just as kind of a review and a refresher, just to make sure that I'm doing everything right. So, like I said, I'm just going to BRB. Okay, so now we're back since I got a refresher. So, um, anyways, we have Thumb Pump in our party. We're going to switch Q to the back since I'm pretty sure that's Q. And we have a Paralyzed Magic Carp. Right on. So, just give me a sec here. 
So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use Q's, not Windows, Keys powers, to take this Aerodactyl and, and um, merge it with this Magikarp. Pretty cool. And you can do this with any two Pokemon. And Q's just chilling there in the back. So anyways, I'm going to fly to, um... Actually, you know what I can do. Um, I can just walk through here since I don't have my Tremuline with me, since I don't have anything to cut. But I can just come down here where I don't have to cut anything. I'm just going to go catch some random folk here. Yeah, what is it? A Rattata. Okay, that's perfect. Since I don't actually have a Rattata. Go, Master Ball! Yeah, I just de wasted my Master Ball on a Rattata, guys. It's so cool, it's gonna be the best Rattata ever. So, um... Anyways, Rattata should be in the back of my party. Actually, what would be better is if I switch... Q to the back. So, anyways, what you guys want to have is the poke that you want to merge a fodder poke. The poke that you want to merge into, and your Q. Now, I'm just going to go look this up really quick again, just to make sure I have everything all in the right order, because, like I said, execution when you're doing this is pretty important, otherwise you'll be stuck with a bunch of cues or stuff could happen. It's not that this glitch is sapphire, you know, dangerous, but it's just, you know, being safe. Just because I don't want to be stuck with, like, a hundred cues, so that's really the worst that can happen, so... Just going to be our B really quick. Okay, guys. So, this narration is going to be kind of funky because it's going to be kind of start and stop. Just because I want to make sure what I'm doing is all good. So, anyways, before we go on, just look at this no cheating device. It's probably a little too late since I've already cut all the glitch pokes. But I hope by now that you guys trust me that I'm not cheating. And if you don't, it's your loss because I'm not cheating. These are all legit glitches that you can get just by manipulating your game with a cartridge. If I had a yellow cartridge, I would actually do this on a cartridge with toaster quality. It would be so bad in terms of, you know, the actual quality. But as far as making you guys, you know, believe what I'm doing, it's worth it. So, anyways... I'm actually going to deposit Thumb Pump really quick, just because the example doesn't have any excess pokes in the party, and I don't know if it's going to be different or not, I don't think it matters, but once again, I'm not taking any chances, just because this is actually the first time I'm doing the hybrid merger glitch right here live, unlike a lot of the other glitches that I'm going to be doing, so, yeah, I just don't want to take any chances, so, anyways, we have the poke here, that we want to merge into, or no, we have the merger poke, our fodder, poke of the ratatata, the poke that this guy wants to merge into, and then our Q, so, what we're going to do first, is switch, Ratatata up front. Then we're gonna switch Aerodactyl with Q, and that's how far I am. So I'm just gonna BRB. Okay, before we go on, I just want to mention something that um, you'll have your Magic Carp here, for example. This is just an example. But the Magikarp will have the stats and the moves of this Aerodactyl. And, um, I'm just using it as an example. Don't, or, um, make sure, how am I going to word this? Yeah, make sure that 
all the moves that you want your magic harp to have, for example. Um, what you call it? Make sure that your Aerodactyl has them already before you do this glitch, because afterwards the game will count magic harp as just magic harp, and it'll only learn the moves that a magic harp will know, which is splash, tackle, and flail in Gen One. So that's not good. So yeah, we can just view Aerodactyl stats right here. My Aerodactyl has Hyper Beam because Hyper Beam smash agility because it can. Fly because Aerodactyl is what I'm using to fly, and then Double Edge because Double Edge Smash. So yeah, what I'm not sure of is if you level up the poke, that its stats and experience and everything will revert back to normal, or whether um actually I'll make sure that your Aerodactyl has all the stats that you want. Like if you want it to be a level 100. Aerodactyl, just speaking an example, you can do this with any two pokes, it doesn't have to be specifically these two, that, um, make sure it's already up to level 100 and everything, because I believe it'll also cop, um, bleh, copy the level 2, so, if you were to be in, like, competitive play, since Aerodactyl is uber fast, and actually has decent speed, you could, theoretically, do a merger glitch with a magic carp, just any old magic carp. And a level 100 Aerodactyl, and then bring a Magic Carp, and then just have Magic Carp fuck shit up. That's why Magic Carp is the best poke ever, because it now has the stats and the power of an Aerodactyl, which is pretty powerful. But um, I do believe it still keeps its water typing, and Aerodactyl's typing is one of the worst things about it competitively. But I'm just throwing that out there, so I didn't even get, f I barely even started, but I just wanted to throw that out there for you guys. Because, yeah. Okay. So, now we're back here. And this disappeared. Stats, that's still our magic carp here. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that stat. Eight special, seven attack. That, that cannot be stopped. Splash. Okay. Anyways, here is what we're going to do. So... We're going to deposit our red attata in box one. And now, watch what happens here. Because Q is just weird, it's. That's the only way I can ascribe Q. It's just weird. As if any of you guys have done glitching on red and blue and you know about Charizard M, you know that Charizard M is just one of those pokes that the game. I mean. It's just playing garbage data in the game. It's not even like a once upon a time poke in the game. It's just plain old garbage data. And the game really doesn't know what to do with it, so a lot of weird stuff happens because it's just weird. Q is pretty much that. So anyways, that's going to force like everything up. And now we're going to go down here to our bottom slot. Now we're going to go to our stats here. Oh, yeah. We got a magic carp here. Look, look at those stats right now. I mean, look, this is like the highest level magic carp ever. Look, look at this. Terrorize the magic carp. Damn straight. Look at this. Attack stat 73, defense stat 45, speed stat 86, special stat 45. That still sucks. But, I mean, look at that. Magic carp is just strong now. Now look at that. Ma this magic carp has hyper beam, agility. You can come here with this. No cheating device at all. Now, what you're going to be careful of, which is why I suggested to have a specific box for Q, is now, here's our Q. And, here's our Aerodactyl. Sorta. Here's also a Q. Because the thing with Q is that Q has a tendency to kind of multiply itself into a lot of different things. So, you definitely just want to be cautious around handling Q. Once again, it's not going to corrupt your SAV file or anything. You see, I'm still completely fine. But... Because Q is just kind of weird, and Q has a tendency to multiply itself, 
Um, just be careful around handling it, and because a lot of this merger stuff can happen inside your PC box, which is, that's why I recommend, yeah, let me freeze this a little bit, because all of this merger hybrid stuff that I just showed you guys right here, this can happen to the pokes in your PC box if you let Q become the first poke in your PC box, and because Q makes all the pokes behind it invisible, you don't know if Q's and Q itself is invisible, hold on, um, you don't know if Q is actually going to be in front or not, unless you have pretty good tracker memory, which over the course of like a month, you're probably going to forget about Q, so just as a preventative measure for that, and so you don't have like certain things glitch hybriding with each other, which really shouldn't be hybriding... Alright, that sounds kind of nasty, hybriding. That sounds like something that aliens from the movie would do. Yeah. But, um... Yeah. That's just kind of my point. You don't want things to merge that really shouldn't be merged. So, just give Q its own separate box. So, anyways, I'm gonna be right back really quick just because I'm hungry and I want me a cookie, so I'm gonna go get me a cookie. So, I'm just gonna... Okay, guys. So, I went and got a cookie and I ate a cookie because it's kind of around lunchtime and I've been too lazy to make me a sandwich because I don't have a woman to make it for me because I'm forever alone. But, um, yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna go make a Q box here. Actually, hold on. What I want to do first... Actually, let me point this out. This was originally Aerodactyl. It's now a Q, even though it looks like Magikarp. It's a Q. And this is the original Q who has the Rattata Sprite. I'm just going to point that out. And now I'm just going to switch it up front. And now Terrorize the Magikarp is in front. And now, I'm going to point some other things out about that later on, but what I'm going to do now is change the box. I think I already changed it to box 12, but I'm not sure. Oh, it's in box 1. Okay. Let me go down to box 12. I'm just making sure. Okay, I changed it to box 12. Okay, so now we're going to deposit some pokes. Aerodactyl's in front. It's going to go to cancel here, and it says that there's some stuff beneath it, but you can just hit cancel. Hit deposit, and now there's Q, go here again, and there's the real Q, and all those are going to be in box 12. Is that okay? No, I don't want to change from box 12 to box 12. I'm expecting this little save thing to pop up. Okay, let me go back to box 1, my um, normal folks box. And let me get some pokes out of there that I'm going to need. Um, I'm a Rio, I guess you can come back. And um, Thumb Pump. Okay, I don't know what happened to that Ratatata either, but I guess I can just keep Ratatata in there. Okay, so here's our three pokes. Our Magikarp, Terrorize, Amarillo, and now Thumb Pump. I'm, actually, I'm going to keep this thing in front. So, I'm just going to fly to a random place. Here, let's go to Vermilion City. Just to show you guys that I can fly like I always could. And now I'm just going to go into the grass and um, find a battle here. With it first, we all know that Magikarp is red, right? Well, if this worked correctly, Magikarp should be brown. Because this Magikarp here is now an imbalanced hybrid poke, which is why this glitch is called the hybrid merger glitch. And basically it takes some of the stuff from Mag some of the values of Magikarp, some of the values of Aerodactyl, and it merges them into one poke. So and now it has the color spread of Aerodactyl. And now, we can just go for Hyper Beam. And Annihilate stuff. 
and I don't think you you can gain any more experience in here. Not too sure, but yeah, we pretty much have a magic carp that can fly now. Um, hold on, I'm gonna go back and look this up again to see if there's anything else that I need to explain. I don't think because this episode has been long enough, but. It's really interesting, so I hope you guys have been able to uh, stay with me. Okay. So, it doesn't look like there's anything else. So, actually, there's one last thing. Actually, there's two things. Um, I did confirm that, you know, by battling, you can't gain any experience, but what you can do is if you have some of these extra rare candies from the Missing No Glitch, you can level it up that way. Um... I believe its stats will level up accordingly. No, don't evolve. It will actually evolve into Gyarados. We don't want that. Magikarp is so much better. Except I don't think I've saved recently, which is a bug. So now we have a flying Gyarados. That's no boy, no. And its stats are the equivalent of Gyarados. So if you have anything like that, which is a Magikarp, don't evolve it. Okay. That sucks that I haven't saved recently. Let me just go back here see when's the last time I saved. Okay. That's good because the box saved for me. That's cool, yo. Good guy box. I guess if you want to say that. So now I need to get um, a Rio and Thumb Pump out of there. Um, one last thing before I go is um, the nickname, or the name of the original poke, which was the Aerodactyl, which is Terrorizes here. And um, if you don't want to have it named that, you can name it like Magikarp if you want to stick with this example. Um, all you have to do is fly to Lavender Town in the name reader. Now let's turn that sound off. That's scary stuff. Okay, we can just go to the name raider, and because it is a poke, even though it is an unbalanced hybrid, you can just give it a nickname, and I see it recognizes it as a magic carp, but um, here we go. Okay. There we go, and um, just before we leave, one interesting notice, if you do this glitch with a Pikachu, and the Pokemon that you're merging Pikachu with has Surf, it will actually show the Pikachu sprite, like the special event Pikachu that knows Surf and Fly that's used to do the special Surfing Pikachu minigame. So, that's pretty much going to be it, I know this is an extremely long episode, but there was a ton of cool glitches in this episode, so I do hope you guys enjoyed, I certainly did, and um, yeah, in other words, peace pretty much, I'm just going to save right here, then I'm going to head out. Look up the decimal value in the hex table, and um, Whatever that is, is the special stat that you're going to need in order to do the standard ditto glitch, which we did last episode of The Missing No. So, um, yeah, we'll just get right on to, um, the thingamajigger, you know.